All right, so we just wrapped up that call with the noise, and now we're heading to my buddy's house, who apparently has a leaking water heater and a crawl space. And we're gonna go ahead and fix that up. All right, so we're heading back from Lowe's. Uh, Got to replace a 47 gallon shorty water heater, um, electric in a crawl space. And as uh, no, no good deed is ever rewarded, I swear. Uh, so it, the bottom has dropped out and it is nasty outside. I've got to get this thing out of my truck and into a crawl space. And if that doesn't help, the fact that my buddy went down there and disconnected the lines and flooded the crawl space, which is sealed, um, encapsulated. So now I get to go work in water. All right, so we've got the new ream water heater. Unfortunately, this would be way too easy if this is the one that failed, but it's not. So we've got to go all the way to the other side of this big crawl space. This house is probably on the line of uh, 4,800 square feet. And we're going to the far end of this crawl space from this end, which is, this would be the east wing. We're going to the west wing. Fun. Luckily, this crawl space, we can probably roll this cart all the way down there. Do me a favor. Yeah, I'm going to be setting this up. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, go upstairs and ask Floor for some rags so we can wipe this all down. Got it. Just sell her shop rags or uh, a, a dish towel rag that she doesn't mind getting dirty. Got it. So we just wrapped up that uh, shorty uh, tankless uh, tanked water heater in a crawl space. It was a 47 gallon. We put in a ream, took out a whirlpool. Um, everything went pretty smooth. I didn't take video. Pro uh, I didn't take too much video of the finish process, but I did take some pictures, and so you see the pictures of that. Um, we didn't take footage also of the uh, after cleanup because it took three and a half hours for that well to build up water pressure so we can take all the air out of the lines and take all the soot and nasty stuff that was in the drain lines out. Uh, once we did that we uh, connected the 60 amp disconnect to the uh, electric water heater. It took about 35 minutes for it to start producing hot water and uh, 
once that started coming out and all the water had cleared out, everything was good to go. And it's just today was an ugly day. Uh, 63 degrees outside, so it warmed up pretty well than what our normal average temperature is out here. Uh, but it's been raining. So 63, cold rain, nonstop. It's the kind of weather that gets you sick more than anything else. Um, so that's it. Uh, We'll catch you guys on the next one. If you like to see, if you like the content, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.